Welcome to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. Join us in our campaign and shenanigans as we explore the subterranean labyrinths, plunder hordes of treasure, battle legendary monsters. This podcast will be following our gaming group and the adventures of these characters, as well as a few guests from time to time. Join us as we start a new campaign and our journey to experience the best, and maybe the worst, in the 5th edition of Dungeons & Dragons. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Welcome back to the Dark Vision Days. Woo! Yeah! And then it's Glory's turn. There's nothing attacking us yet. There's nothing yet. No. So, can I hold my action until I see something to attack? Now, are you wanting to hold your action with your melee weapon? Or, like, pull out one of your javelins? Uh... Yeah, I, have, I, have, I have a bow. Crossbow. Okay, yeah, I have a crossbow. So you whip out your crossbow and get ready to shoot the first orc CCC? <laughs> yes. Okay. Please. Alright, so normally it wouldn't have been too bad. The orcs would have had to jump on you. They'd be coming out of bushes, creeping and crawling. As all of a sudden, an orc slowly pops its head through the bushes. Well, then she would get the attack opportunity. Why, yes, yes, she would. As all of a sudden you see the head of an axe stick through the bushes and then her orc following it, obviously drawn to the attention of the cobalt that's struggling off in the distance. So, he's right here. I will shoot at him. Okay. Uh, probably unsuccessfully. Uh, uh, that's right. Which one? Uh, I'm looking. I don't know where they are. I had them. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's 14. 14 wood? There you go. Yay! Now you just have to roll the damage. Crossbow's a D8. Plus your dex. That's a 10. Where is my 8? Why can't I fight it? There it is. Uh, 5. 5 points damage. As you go. Bring that crossbow right up to your Thank cheek. As the orcs coming through, looking at the cold bulb, not realizing, hey, oh my god. <laughs> Thwink! Crossbow bolt hits the orc in the side. He's not happy about that. Oh. He found out Grupo Kia Rupa. He thanks humans at first, until all of a sudden his eyes focus on the keen elven ears, <laughs> the small dwarfiness, and the tiefling with the crossbow. Hi there! <laughs> and the cobalt in the bush is going, nye, 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 trying to k- get his bindings free. I wonder if he actually needs bindings free. So, he is going to. Wizard, would you like an attack of opportunity? Yeah. So, you will get an attack of opportunity as he comes Do up. Do I get one? You do not, because he's not leaving your, your space. So you get a freebie attack of opportunity as he walks right past the weakling looking wizard. I have a quick question. Yeah? Was that an attack of opportunity or was that my action? That was your action. Okay. Your whole action. But you still get your attack of opportunity. You yeah. get an attack of opportunity. Right? Yeah. Because he's basically blatantly walking right past but you, you, you with an arrow sticking out of his shoulder step. right now. Okay. Yeah. You can only use your quarter staff for that attack of opportunity. Because all he saw was a wisp of an elf with her quarter staff. And her robes. No threat to anyone. So, that's whack, whack and good. It is the d6. Well, you have to roll the d20 to stretch. Maybe that is test with you right here. It's always a test. Always. It's always a test. Plus, she got a 14. 14. 14 what? 
Now you roll the uh, 1d6 and then add 2 to it. Square one. As all of a sudden, this orc has the <laughs> all the water, right? You walked into the wrong glen, little fucker. Uh, <laughs> so four points? That's okay. nine. Yeah. As you just, as he goes, you put everything into your quarterstaff and swing to the back of his head. It, it connects nicely. Bunk. <laughs> <laughs> However, his intention is to take his great axe to the tiefling who just shot him with an arrow. And hisses like a cat. And hisses like a cat. Will a 15 hit you? No. As you nimbly avoid the axe that comes swinging down, probably because he still sings Star from the back of the head blow. As he just sinks the axe, missing you by inches. Tail even teased him with a flicking shirt. Right on the nose. Ding! <laughs> Meanwhile, further down the game trail, another orc is coming through the bushes. This one's holding a jab. Apparently, a. Yes, he looks, like a, he looks like a red brand. Or is, it a, or is it a shield? It's a cape. Okay. It's a cape. He's one of the red brand from the starter set. Nice. I don't have my glasses on, so. Yeah, he's still pretty good. And he's going to throw his jab on the first one of your party he can see, which would be. Uh oh. Did a seven hit you? No. 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 As a javelin just goes thunk two or three feet away from your toes. And you can see this guy clearly from five feet away through the javelin and it just sunk a foot away from you. (laughs) (laughs) Now, however, these guys are having to fight through the. And what's your DC? Well, one of them doesn't make it because he rolled a one. Whoop! Falls face first into the weeds and gets all entangled up because that's what the way I like playing a critical fail on that spell. Oh, dumbass. What is it? Is that the armor fall for it? No, no. Here's the Second page where your spells are. DC. Twelve. And the other one is going, yeah, yeah, as these the little berry bushes are wrapped around their feet. Berry bushes. Berry bushes. Thank you. They're in quite a jam. <laughs> it's going to be the dwarf's turn. But she's got an orc right there. Okay, um, question. Oh, but good! <laughs> With a hammer. Knee breaker! <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna call her shins. I'm going to. Since I'm not gonna leave his. Can I get behind him? Opposite her, since I'm not leaving the. You wanna go into the bushes? Is that. So you wanna need to get. Well, the Uh way you guys are angled, you wouldn't be able to get combat advantage. Okay, well then I'm just gonna hit him. Okay. With your hammer. Hammer. Hammer (laughs) time! Okay, is a uh, 18 good enough to hit? What hits? We are. Five points of damage. Oh, that's one you thing. swing that hammer and you just hear bone breaking when it hits. Well, just crack. hits the chest ah! and you just hear ribs cracking and this orb just went. Argh. It's still alive. But he has received a lot of punishment. And the mere fact that you just threw all your dwarven rage into that hammer blow. And for a second there, he turns to face you. And you notice that this orc, he looks different than you. You've seen all different shades and varieties before. This orc seems to have a burnt hand mark. Like what this fuck? on its face. Do I recognize that? You don't. It's completely something you've seen all kinds of different paint load, different marks, and scarification, and eye plucking. Heck, you you remember seeing a line of orcs to win a war once? Did this whole line up and the priest poked an eye out of each one of them? You know, and you, but you've never seen a burnt hand mark on one of them. And it's a wicked looking hand mark. 
too. And, and it, it just gives you this look of, it's ready to die. Oh, yeah, it will be. But now, it's the wizard's turn. You put behind you. Yeah. The call. The one that's coming at you. Yeah. As all of a sudden, the wizard flips out her sleeves and pulls them back. Does she pull out her green magic hat and grabs a random item out? No. 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 <laughs> this is not a cartoon. This is deep, deep. A damn barbarian and that horrible friggin' baby unicorn. I hate that unicorn. I'm so <laughs> confused. That's because you're referring to Dungeons and Dragons, the cartoon show from okay. 1982, which, by the way, I've got the complete series. We've never oh, watched it. You mean 10 years ago? Oh, keep saying one of these years we need to watch it. It's bad enough. It. So MST3K it. Yeah, yeah. I'd be pretty awesome. But that, you know. Hey, come on. This is Venger's sidekick. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Like, this is the rave. So, what spell is the wizard doing? Fire Firebolt. Oh, Ooh. Firebolt. Firebolt okay. or Fireball? Uh, the Firebolt robot chicken is. It's like, why didn't anybody tell me I had a horn missing? <laughs> Venger. <laughs> Poor Venger. And I hated what they did with Dutch Tempest. Oh, yeah. Troll. He was a nut. Was he roll a die? I know. It's a Wendy so, ten. So, oh, basically, is uh, what does the spell card say? Uh, make a range spell attack. Yeah, yeah. Like make a range. Make a range spell attack against the target. On a hit, the target takes one d ten fire damage. So roll a d twenty. One d ten. Thank you. Well, you need to roll a d twenty to try. Oh, sorry, and, uh, on your second character page. It has your spell attack bonus. I think you're plus four or more. What's that? Three. Plus okay. Three. You hit me with two fire points. Oh, yeah. yeah 15. That was well, 18, 18, actually. As your yeah, bolts. And then what is your magic word for firebolt? Is it Fuego Bombe? <laughs> I don't remember. I had it. The oh. elven word for. Burn. That works. Okay. Burn. The wizard's straight time burn. dark. Disco <laughs> Inferno. Remember, burn. she does want to turn Necromancer at third level, so. Girl. <laughs> hey, she'll turn Necromancer for all the right reasons. Let the dead service again. And that's how the path to hell starts. And that's how we get Sue, the dinosaur. Uh, <laughs> Dresden Files. Riding a. It's not no, good to do dinosaur. human necromancy, but dinosaur necromancy is legit. <laughs> and the older the body, the stronger the undead. Gross. That really Sue, is the so oldest T Rex in the Chicago Historical Museum. Yes. Yeah, Our she's hero badass. rides her on all Halloween. That's nice. It was awesome. Go ahead. That's cool. Four Ooh. plus. Does she get it's, up? It's, it's just the straight roll. So you go, Still. firebolt goes flying out, just, you notice a burn mark on his face as well. So he's used to fire. As you plaster flame across his face, causing his eye to like wilt shut and just, just tears to come welling up in his eye. So I just burned him all, see? You just, you just gave him, you just unified oh. the scorch mark because your hands are warming up from your fire spell. I know, it's fabulous. <laughs> so, Druid, you, you hear that the, there's orcs fighting in your, your, your little <laughs> area. Me over, man. Apparently the team has a problem taking her the team's playing out of the map. What are you going to do? Um, I can like... You, you can see power. this one as well, by the way. Oh, okay. Yeah, and this always one. Don't you have a... Don't you have a... Range weapon? See, good. You I have, have my weapon. And I'll warm you up. Don't you have a friend of yours? Do you have your name? Do you have your name? Sorry, you can tell us what I'm sorry. Do your name. You may want to borrow her book if you're thinking of using your spell. Yeah, because if you're Beacon Coldman, I'm like, oh, yeah, they do. Maybe she would like to borrow the book again. Now that I know what this spell is for, don't you know what this means? I'm like, no. This means Geek Sue, she's doing a T Rex. No, no, I don't think this one was that doing very well. <laughs> good job. You flipped right at the beginning of the spell. Oh, okay. yeah. So it She's was Vine Whip, right? Vine Whip, which would be alphabetical. She's got magical powers. 
Instagram. So which one are you going to catch finding the line? The one that looks like a feather could take it down? Or the one that's over here and just got fire in the face? I well, fire in the face. Or you could do more. Well, she can't really see those guys. She just hears them fumbling around in the bushes. Okay, I'm close. They can't roll higher than eight three right now. Is it fine whip or see? It's fine whip, yes. <laughs> whip it really good. I thought it was thorn whip. Thank you. Thorn whip. Ah. Wow. See, we just keep giving her the wrong names of spells, and then she has to look it up in the character sheet. <laughs> this is where dyslexia comes into play. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Sorry. Oh, I love it. This 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 spellbook interlude brought to you by Gladiator Jam, <laughs> where we can be a bard too. Bards, it's not just for rogues. <laughs> Hey, Gladiator's gotta entertain the crowd. Hey, it's true. So. Are you not entertained? Yeah, <laughs> that's actually my kit. Oh. I'm an entertainer. Uh -huh. Yeah. Or so, one of them, anyway. Can I reach him? What's the range of my width? 30. Are you within 30 feet? No, but guess what? You can move. <laughs> this one's also within 30 feet. So 5, 10, one. 15, 20, 25, 30. You're not within 30 feet? Yeah. You are. Oh, I guess I am. I did. Well, I'm thinking since you could just like hide him and have a few colors. We can add more. Okay, go for the one that took the part of the face. She's like, we can add more. Give me a roll. So it's a ranged spell attack. Do you remember what your bonus is? Would you like me to hold the book? Yeah, please. going to my magic stuff. Right there. What's the what's your ranged bonus attack? Oh, see. <laughs> so, roll this one. Yep. Roll d20. Add four. 19. That will be. Ooh, yeah. So, roll yes. your damage. And Shh. now, where are you casting the vine whip, by the way? Thorn whip. Thorn whip. Where on the map are you, are you making the whip come to attack? When, when you cast the spell, what I'm asking is, you, you say, right here. Oh. And it attacks. Because remember, it doesn't pull the target towards it. Oh, I thought I so pulled you, it. No, no, no. It's basically you're taking your little sprig of plant and you're causing a vine to come up from the ground and attack your target and yeah. then pull it towards you. You're, you're oh. using your little sprig of plant like a wand. Yeah. It's it's your to to magical your focus. vine with. Or your oh, that's cool. thing. So oh, I if it you like put it say one, right like here, no, 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 you're basically making it come from the ground. So if it comes here, it will pull. Don't him go that way. way. Don't go that way. If you pull it here, it would pull him t towards the wizard. Hey, if you pull that it, how many moves can she do with it? What's the what is it? Ten feet? Uh, ten feet closer so to two you. squares. So two squares. So it's not going to be enough to like create an attack of opportunity. No. No. Uh, yeah, that would be cool. cool. Good for the mage. No, no, you would pull it one, right to her. two, right in front of her. Yeah, which entering her space would give her an attack of opportunity. No, no, exiting to a constant attack of opportunity. Okay. It's not well, fourth where it used to be any. We don't want to go that way because then they have combat advantage on the mage. Well, remember your rank, your spells range is going to be somewhere. Here yeah, but if they move two. it this way, it puts it closer to the fighters. Uh huh. You see, so you'll need to be and looking at what your damage is and where you want to put the spell. I think, would it be better if it came closer to you guys? Yes, okay. <laughs> As the cleric is using her combat hand sign, she's saying, doing the hand going hand this hand. way is what she's saying. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Okay. That's combat advantage on the mage, and it brings it closer to the Because if you would have went this way, they would have been able to team up on the mage. They were combat yeah. advantage. That's so, right. so your whip's coming out next to the tree, and this little vine's coming and out. And what is that called? It's Flanky! <laughs> And it's dragging this guy this way. Now give me damage. How much damage is it? 1d6, I believe? Yeah. <laughs> what was that? The, the, the spasms of war pains? Yes. Or old war three. wound? Plus, it feels like something stabbing nope. underneath my cubicle at the moment. So okay. So three points of damage. Ooh, this guy's slower. getting jacked up with spells. And he's like, where did that vine even come from? I don't believe. <laughs> the ground. Sorry. 
But it's now the fighter's turn to drop that crossbow and get get jiggy with it. Give it to him! Yep. Okay. I'm gonna touch that. Sorry. It's okay. So I'll hammer it. Okay. Yes. In the, the face. face! The one that's right here. I don't want to waste a hammer it on it. It's gonna fall over in a minute anyway. Well, if you move around it, as long as you're not leaving it, oh my god. <laughs> And this orc's existence and bring pain wasting and what my unhonorable ancestors. So as I turn around to face the orc, I take my hammer with an upswing to its jaw and smash its jaw into its skull. And it collapses. And, and, and your force is so mighty, its head goes flying. And hits the other one in the face. <laughs> and it's still steering over him. With five, nine points of damage, which is eight more than we needed. <laughs> you end this orc's life miserably. <laughs> its head is still blinking as it's flying through the air, ripped off its neck socket. Ew. Or as we call it, shoulders. Okay, so... Apparently I need to roll with my left hand. <laughs> Apparently, it's your sister hand. This orc's going to leave. <laughs> After being firebolted in the face, magical vines grab it and drag it into the bushes, and its orc head goes bouncing by it. They were just chasing a kobold. <laughs> Where did these people come from? <laughs> what the actual fuck? As he is just Hellbent, running through the woods, doesn't care about the javelin he left behind. Whose turn is it? Uh, it's, it's the one that can still crawl through the grass over there. Yes! He finally gets up. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 40, 50. Oh, he's not happy. And he steps through the bush right in front of the little druid. The little Mrs. Tiny, tiny tree. so little. <laughs> Will an eleven hit you? And this is the big one. It's AC. That's twelve now. Twelve. Yeah. He swings his axe where he heard the the talking coming from, and you just see bush disappear, and this line of cleanly cut tree. He was not prepared for. He was not prepared for a little gnome <laughs> when he was going to swing what would, that would have been your stomach. Like one of the things that like pop out of the grass that he just cut. Hi. A little tough of your, your weird color hair. <laughs> and I think we know who's next because the cleric's warming up or dies. Crossbow bolt to the guy running away. You can't see him, he's in the bushes. Crossbow bolt to the guy that's attacking my feet. Weren't you swinging your hammer? Why don't you just walk up there and bring your hammer to me? I didn't want any to get away. Okay, fine. I'm gonna Rage, come charge. Up, hit this guy in the face. Okay. You can go next to your compatriot. Yeah. Pick on somebody your own size. Kind of. Twenty-five. <laughs> you want to go here? Thirty. Oh yes. So you basically I can only go twenty-five. Oh, you're dwarf. That's right. Dwarf. I can only go twenty-five. You're wanting to cut off his escape, but you thought swinging is better than sweeping to, than going past him. What's wrong? Nothing. You guys just said 25 several times, and my brain went, Cleopatra, 25, 25. <laughs> Again, something you won't get. 25, 25. This orc is still alive. That was a great, <laughs> awful show, man. And it had Zoe from Fireflies. Yes, it did. 18 will hit. Mm -hmm. It was set in 2525. It was a horribly. She was what? Producer? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Or model. Yeah. yeah. She was it, a horribly, it was a horribly. Girl produced. gets frozen. Oh, booyah! It was apocalyptic. Yeah. That would be April 3. That would be it. Well, it oh, it's under Andy. Take a moment and look. It's right under Andy. Because if we're, we're dragging chairs, we should okay. wait to. 
talk after we drag the chair. <laughs> so we have all these different noises. Thank you. So eight plus damage. No, we love it. It's eight plus three. As the dwarf comes up, just war charred and just Rah! smashes her hammer in this guy's chest. And you hear a lot of oh. And just blood just gets splattered all over the, the, the gnome. Yeah. From the broken ribs and the lung damage. Still on his feet. But not looking good at all. Okay, so, wizard, you feel the arcane might. She can't find us. No, she, she can go running in the woods. You, no, you but no, 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 <laughs> one does not chase a snake or an orc into the bushes. The kobolds, however. Oh, is he still stuck? You can He's still stuck. Okay. We're going to do a magic missile on him. On this one? Is he still alive? Then he's he's not now. Not after the very just You begin your spell. Your three magic darts appear, and I'm assuming you're going to launch them all. On one target, give me one d4 rolls. Because it's what, one d4 plus one per dart. Forget the pyramid. Five. First one goes right into his neck and just starts spurting blood out as it falls back dead. You're going to need a bath. You have orc stink on them. Sorry, guys. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> not sorry. <laughs> as you can, of course, you know, since you don't see any other targets of opportunity at the moment, you can always sink your darts into him as he's falling back. Over for dramatic yeah. effects. Why not? As you just blow some holes right through his torso. I'd be afraid oh. of the orcs that find this, because the guy who's trapped in the <laughs> grass right now is not. <laughs> he has seen right nothing there. of this. Hair won't be lasted long. You'll see that in the head right here, be covered in blood. Yeah. Yeah. Like a dirt Angry sign. Dwarf. <laughs> Half one coming out of the bushes. Oh, those things are terrifying. Let me find my teeth. They eat people. Yes. They're, they're, they're not cannibals. They eat people, not halflings. Okay, so basically you... I'm sure they eat halflings too if they're dead. Yeah. Dead means it's not a halfling. Dead means <laughs> it's me. Okay, so you guys, you know, the ones running through the bushes held bent for somewhere. That one's deader than dead, and you've got one fighting against the grass that's kind of like growing up its nose right now. <laughs> it's completely. Is it possible to just we walk up shoot with car cars? Cars? Coup de gras. Yeah, yeah coup de gras. Oh, is that like, yeah. Yeah. Because oh, he rolled a one to dead. struggle against the grass, no. which means he basically oh. struggled into the grass. I just basically want to step on his neck and separate it. He, he's immobilized right now. I mean, I don't know how to do that. You just go up and say, I strike to kill it, coup de gras. And that is what I did. Okay. Is it 30? It's, it's just do it, yeah. It's and then roll me a d20. Just pray you don't get a one and get stuck in the grass. What? No! Oh, God, you did oh, it! You did that on purpose. Oh, oh my God. I can tell you some stories. <laughs> And that's how you make your jam. But you rolled it too. You go out there and you basically throat stomp. Yeah. So I don't do it nearly as gracefully as I wanted to. Yeah. Well, you're it's because right the, the grass is gra clinging on to you. So you're, 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 you're going to lose your bodies. bodies. Lose the bodies. Lose the bodies. Wouldn't that be what does? Usually. Yeah, but these are orcs. <laughs> well, off. Uh, He's a motherfucking orc. So, uh, bet between the three dead ones you find, about 66 silver pieces. Damn! And, you know, a couple fingers and ears. You. And, and you, know, you start to notice when you look at the orcs as you start rifling through their pockets that uh, some of them have scalps. Oh. Smells like tight. They, they seem to be fresh in one of the one of the good races, human, elf, or you can't really distinguish scalps from them, even even the half ones. But they've got about uh, between the three of them eight fresh scalps that are like super fresh. Did they come from the way that we were going? I 
can't remember. They didn't. They, they actually came from the side, the, the, the direction that's towards the mountains, which gives the dwarf a momentary pause. Mountains, dwarves. Dwarf, give me a perception roll. As you get. Ooh. That would be a. Uh... As, as all of a sudden you have memories of. The 19. Dwarves. You remember. I'm not a dwarf. Back in the Orb Wars, they came down from the hills, as they do every couple hundred years or so. When their numbers like swell a up, plague. and a war chief gets them to, to cooperate for once and band them together. And as you look that way, you notice in the distance, like way distance, three little different lines of smoke from the base of the mountains. You know there's a few communities out there. And these smoke, for you to see the smoke from this distance means the community's probably been, been, been raised. raised. Right. But the Come only, on. but you know for sure that this would, you know, from the, from the orc wars, that this would be an advanced scouting party. This, this and there would be the, more. The horde would be relishing their victory and getting drunk on their spoils. Maybe some orcs need each other. As all of a sudden you hear, you hear this ripping sound of a cheap rope snapping. Oof! Oof! Orcs oh, need killing. Orcs filthy creatures. Orcs kill many of my tribe. Warrior goddess. <laughs> cool. Yay! Yes. You must kill the orcs. It's like, I'm gonna go to the cobalt dragon and say, how many orcs were there? There. There, there, there were this many! And he holds up his hands with his, you know, total of six with his thumbs. More than these, <laughs> or including these? He's, he's he doesn't know. <laughs> Again, it's this of six <laughs> figures! Fill up the orcs! And he goes, goes up and just jumps on the headless corpse. Which, of course, is making horrible things happening to them with the head stub. He just wants to leave. <laughs> No, 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 he would be or he would be or his he dragon his over. dragon god might who is, you know, on poles. Yeah, yeah, on our poles. That that that's why she's more your goddess. <laughs> and the natural <laughs> twenty. <laughs> no nickname. Or <laughs> your goddess, natural twenty. He's never seen a dragonborn before. Maybe you're a dragonborn. <laughs> yeah. Just like, a, a type of home without scales. That's, right. You know, it's like so. You know, yeah. So I'm assuming now you guys want to double time it back to town. Yes, because yes. yes. we have to tell the Baron because that's where I met the Baron. Is was in the Orc Wars. I'm going to say the life. that we should keep the Kobold with us. Yeah, but he's find him. So that he doesn't get away. Not that he necessarily wants to get away, but I think we need him for information. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how are you going to find him? Just retie him like he was? And he finds back? Or? No, I, I'm thinking like all the way around so that he's sitting and we can let him sit on the dragon. He can sit on the dragon oh, head. Yeah. How can I jump up there? That's even better. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll just carry him. Ah, I am a hero. I am given a hero as well. Yeah, you're tied up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you don't know how they operate in that cobalt one. I need to come wow wow. Rabby rabby tie tie. Okay, so you got to head back to the community double timing it? Yeah. Go ahead and give me a survival roll, survivors, to make sure we don't get lost or run into Before danger. Before we leave, um, all 21. the uh, sea plane needs to relieve herself. Well, I was actually saying it's a good time to take a quick break. As the, you rolled the what? 21, you are blazing an amazing trail that is heading there purposely with purpose and direction and, and a lack of running into encounters because that's a good place to take a pee pee break there. Another D and D game where you all play bars and we call <laughs> it the quartet. <laughs> so I call it. Hold it. Can we harmonize? <laughs> Yeah, I have a problem. I tend to um, relate songs in my head as we go along. I apologize. That's oh, okay. Carrie and I do it all the time. I Why do you think I became a bard in my next uh, after? They burst into song often. Yeah. 
So for my you next, for Lady's Night's Adventure, you bought it. It was you that was at our house. So Franklin and I do oh. the same thing, but we parody songs. I can't give you an example off the top of my head because that's just the way I, I roll. But, but, oh. Right. But like, I'll start a parody of a song and he'll finish it. And she was there the other day for it. She was like, oh my God, what's going on? I'm so confused. I will I tend to rewrite some of the songs with the bar, like the spell. There. Like, mm -hmm. somebody should have told you the pally's gonna own you. You ain't the biggest bad in this place. I love it. You'll be looking kind of dumb when we kick your stupid bum and wholeheartedly kill you in your face. Nice. Yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> so, so thankfully, thanks to the Druid, you guys made really quick time back to town, carrying the cobalt and the dragon skull as Victoria's parade comes into town. Because they already oh. still have a couple cobalt captures. The prisoners, yeah, that you brought. And as on to, on to as the others. people are looking at this weird, melted y, chopped up, snatched dragon skull. And as we're just Even though, like, shouldn't it have eyes? Because, of course, you know, it's a rare cave dragon, so it, it's got that xenomorph look. But it's super, super unique. Everyone's, like, gawking as you guys are walking into town with it. So where are you headed? Uh, to the Baron, after we drop off the uh, kobold uh, with the other... Uh, uh sure? Uh-huh. And uh, well, we got to go to the Baron and let him know that... So you're bringing the, the skull to the Baron's? Baron's Keep? Okay, so you guys come to Keep, you're giving the heroes welcome. Oh, my friends! Of course, your, your, our, your wizard's father dog immediately dog. is back in town. He must have returned back with the rest of the guys. They were worried about you guys. Your dad gives you this big hearty hug. You, you just get enveloped in his robes. There's this like old mage on me just cleaning the love desk here at Elf. You know, she's all cute and sweet. <laughs> and then, of course, the Baron gives you a big burly buddy man hug with the whole handshake that turns into a big burly hug. Since you're as stout as he is, only, you know, you look a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you have a mission complete, my friend. You've done it, so you've slayed the creatures? Yes, but I've got bad news. Oh, oh, you, you're, you're not Terrible really... news. Did, did something happen to the bard? No, no, no. Who stayed behind at the pub, by the way? Uh, orcs. No. Did we, oh, you know what? We probably would have brought that to him. It was already yeah. off. Sure, would you? So you whip out a <laughs> nasty, nasty orc's head with the fur mark. kind of covered in blood. <laughs> not familiar you, you, you with... You have time to clean up. Yeah? Okay, yeah. good. This is one. Sorry! Did you press the digitation as one of your... Um, I think... Is one of your spells. I'm trying to think of your like, next page. I'm going to forget about that. You don't know. Uh, but I'm not familiar with this clan. And every, every, you get this, this hush of the assemblage, just like, <gasps> it's an orc. It's true. I heard she was a great hero from the orc wars, just like the Baron. <gasps> it's too soon for the orcs to end. Just all these rumors immediately start blasting out. To the, to the north? To the north. And to the north, we saw ten hills of smoke. And we have the foothills of the mountains. And, and the Baron just gives you that look, you know, and he's like, oh. We know the oh, signs. Oh. We know the signs. And he gives you the look, and he's just like, this this glower just comes over him. Like, he, he was hoping to have a rest there. He killed three. One escaped into the woods, direly wounded. I was hoping in my time I would not see another building. I uh, so, and, and immediately he like goes back and sits wearily in his little chair, you know, his little a dressing chair. Send 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 scouts to the four corners of the, of the Vale. See if we can assemble any word of where these beasts have gone. And he, he kind of looks at your father. He's like, "Can you send the magical messengers as well to to ensure that the message the word gets out that." The orcs may be on the rise again. I and he looks at the. the and we need research on this plan. Okay, with the bird hand. We need to. 
Young Wizard, give us some role for Arcana. And Priest, give me a roll on religion. <laughs> Twelve. What you get? Important. You notice that in the burn mark, there's a bit of a brand, and when you point that out to the dwarf, she kind of gets the idea of it. It's the symbol of Bahamut. Shit. What? The orcs are w- working with the evil dragons. No, not the dragons. Oh, Bahamut. Oh, I'm sorry. The That's demon the... lord, not the ah, not uh, Tiamat. No, okay, not yeah. Tiamat. Bahamut. All right, lovely. The, the demonic lord, you know, bad guy, really nasty. Demon. I didn't think it'd be possible for the vile orcs to become not much more vile. Well, you, you, you know, traditionally they worship their one-eyed god, and it's all about yeah. anger and war and stuff like that, and eating elves. Oh my. The now infernal. Infernal. Evil has become infernal. And, and, and. The only good yeah, your, 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 your friend just looks like his old war wound is he's he's just reaching down and grabbing his side like oh the old spear wounds hurt now. And you just see he, he's just losing his shit. You, you you may want to see if you can bolster his reserves because yeah, like, he seems to his he's just got like he just aged ten years on you right now, human years. I like it. Never fear. Your forces can stay here and guard your settlement. My friends and I, we will go investigate. <laughs> <laughs> Your friend's back at the club. <laughs> hey, give, give These me forks a... will destroy everything in their path. Give, give me a quick persuasion. Let's see how you're swaying the court as well. See if you can like shut down the panic with this this, this boasting braveness. Ten. Okay, you 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 you're sounding like an okay game. I mean, it's it's not really you know swaying the crowd horribly, but the. He he looks up at you and you just see you almost see pleading in his eyes like I wish old friend can do something to to at least stall the forces. And and he looks at your father and says, My friend, I need you to teleport to to the castle so that they can prepare their defenses and have the city walls prepared. Well we out here in the Vale will will do what we can. And your daughter and her friends will do their best to protect us. We, we, I have your support, right? <laughs> My duty is to protect and care for people beneath me. Even though I think you got my friend. It will be a battle <laughs> to <laughs> see. Fuck out my my words. God damn it. <laughs> And I she stared down a hellhound without flinching. It will be a battle to remember, my friends. It's like glory upon glory. And the problem is, you pick shit that's all about y'all die and live on your own. Yeah, because. No. <laughs> She's not how that works. She'd be like, no, no. Well, the okay. I'm logicking this out of my head. Uh, okay. Logicking. Logicking. Logic. Orcs yeah. are unnatural. Thank you. That's what I was for going her. for. Okay. Because they says, defile the earth around them. <laughs> because it's everywhere it's they go. Right, now <laughs> that would fall apart. Say it. Come on. Don't say expect it. me to save those who can't save themselves. It's nature's way that strong survive and the weak perish, but this is not natural. There we go. Everyone's got chips. And and the Baron with you know with, with, with sad hearts says my friends, rest while the, the messages messengers and the spells are cast. Gather your strength for the coming tide of bloodshed that we know the orcs will bring. Especially okay. extra crossbow bolts. <laughs> especially if led by demonic forces. As you all go and 
you, you, you get what worrisome sleep you can. You feel the rest of your adventure seeping into your bones. And in your beds, you see a golden ring surround you in your dreams. And you hear, ding! The kids clap, good stuff. <laughs> Someone give her a hand to clap with. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a great place to wrap it up there. On the battlefield, I'm a warrior, ready to kill or be killed. I've defeated orcs from the north, sent Kandorian demon spawns back to the depths, and drank with Sumerian heroes. But when I get back from a hard day of disemboweling my enemies, I enjoy nothing more than to open my castle doors and find a dungeon crate as my reward for blood well spilled. Designed for role players and tabletop gamers, Dungeon Crate is a monthly subscription box service with a treasure hoard of loot you can use on or off the battlefield. Miniatures, dice, tokens, coins, maps, modules, terrain pieces, handcrafted items, RPG jewelry, and more are yours for only a few gold per month. You even get a digital crate along with a physical one as an added bonus. So what say you? Are you ready for postal glory? Oh boy. DungeonCrate.com let the adventure begin! Hey guys, Jim here from Creative Plane Podcast Network. Just want to let you know, on our Facebook page, we'll be posting soon that we've got a Kickstarter that starts this week, February, the week of February 12th. Go ahead and go to facebook.com slash Network. Jump on in the conversation, let us know what it is you'd like to see as rewards. Let us know uh, basically what you guys would like, because we want to make sure we're sharing and making you guys part of the show. So come on to our Facebook Live, join the conversation, and check out Kickstarter. It'll be for D&D Journey of the 5th Edition's 2018 season, but you know how that always bleeds over to all our podcasts, because it's all one big family network. So come on, check it out. Let us know what you're interested in, because hey, you're part of the show too, because we make this so we can listen to it, and you can listen too. All right, guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition, a member of the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And remember, be careful out there. There be dragons about. Did you just roll... I just rolled an 8 on a d8 for your hit points. Mm-hmm. So everyone go ahead and roll your hit dice, which you actually hit points, or take the static number, whichever you like trust. Seven. Seven. See, oh, that's key. Oh, no. So if I do the d8. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yours is like, a d4. But it gets worse. Or, or you can take a d6. Or you can, uh, it should be uh, on her hit dice section. I think it's a d7. Mm. Um, it's mm-hmm. like on Oh, here. Yeah, 1d8? No, 6. Sorry, no, d6. Okay. I was going to say, it's yeah, not high. old school. Yeah. So you can take a 4, or you can roll a 1d6 plus your constitution modifier. And don't forget to add your constitution oh, yeah. modifier. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's Yeah. Don't juke yourself. Yeah, okay, so... Your oh, my goodness. Plus two. I'm, up oh, 20. I'm up to 29. I guess. Where? In constitution modifier. Be six. Nine. She got a six. Sweet. Four. Nice. I got four. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Definitely four, write that down in your character six, sheets. Six, and you guys are third level, which means so that means it unlocks certain things like certain things. Uh, you channel on. divinity for me, and you get your third level for channel divinity. Why does this one say two D eight? Because you were level two, but now it has to now be that's going to become a three D eight. That's how okay. many hit dice you can spend. No, no, no. That's each time like you heal, you can use your hit dice. You were a level two creature. Your constitution is plus five. Yeah. Wow, that means you have a plus eleven to the thirteen, right? So twelve plus eleven. So I so mean, now my dice are so now three your three total. Yep. And your um, dice is going to be the uh, twenty-three. Is your total hit points? You have more hit points than me. I have more hit points than you. Yes, you do. I'm kind of a loser.
No. <laughs> she, she, you're all Jocelyn, about to give when output. she dan- Jocelyn when she had her uh, her warrior. Here, can you get pencil? Her warrior had terrible hit points. And it was just the the, the draw of the dice. Her fighter kept rolling two. Like she she rolled a one. Yeah. But then again, Lady Corlin used skills more than she did all kinds of things with intimidate persuade. She was a noble. Yeah. Um, okay, so I now get access to Infernal Legacy, Ooh. which lets me cast something. Uh, you get Basis. thaumaturgy. Th- thaumaturgy at seven, or Thaumaturgy level. can be used. Thaumaturgy is really good. I don't know what that's for. It's basically prestidigitation for for wisdom casters. Okay. So you can make your eyes glow. You boom your voice. You can make your voice like three times like as a mega loud. Cult. Okay. You can t- you can t- open change uh, colors of things. I believe you can like uh, if a door or a window is unlatched, you can, you can just open. open it. You can fling it open. You can uh, lower or raise a fire, but you can't start it. You know, so you can cause you know spooky things to happen, or spooky. you know, you can make things to like my tiefling had a glowing orb, an orb of with smoke inside of it. She would make it change colors to entertain kids, but then I used it also for something else one time. You know, it's like <laughs> effectively for something else. I like how she just. I used it. Losses over that part. I used. I, I made this one uh, cult leader think that it was a truth uh, detector. Ooh, nice! And so uh, every really time cool. he lied, he, I would change the color. And it's yeah. you know, and he was freaking out. <laughs> are these are goggle lenses? Uh, oh, they're, goggle but they lenses. are the same. Oh shit! I could do that before. You can use these as well. I could use that as a cantrip, whatever. Before. I got these from. Now uh, I can cast hellish rebuke. I ordered these from. Uh, so now if someone hurts you, they pay. Oh, what was the name of that? Advanced deployment. Yeah, oh, advanced. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that shit. I'm a dork. Yeah. Because <laughs> these are just. Cool. But you, I can totally. So we just you get the book up for where I get oh. just the one that yeah. And you're going to be getting it's some like, more things with. I, I have my players like handbook. Isn't that what Golden Gear? Yeah, well, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Remember yeah. you sent me that yeah. link? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I think the firewall is going to pick up yeah. something yeah. else. That's, for I, her that's what actually what I was wearing was our actual logo. Yeah. Hey, where did you get those one lenses you were wearing? Those faceted ones. The prism. Yeah. Thanks. So, uh, okay. Uh, third level, you don't get any features, okay, but your cantrips go up and your spells go up. It says plus two to your proficiency bonus, no features. You get two cantrips, four first level spells, and two second level spells. So more spells. You get second level. Oh, you didn't have before. Yeah. Specific. So just answers. Two, four, two is what I said, right? Well, no, I just had the idea. I get to pick a martial art. Oh, so okay. I started working on my costume. Check them out. They're, they're so really I had cool. I, I had already done so that. We trying to mass produce. Which one do you think you're going to go for? I can't remember. So are you want to go with an eldritch knight if you have magic? I don't want magic. Okay. 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 That's appropriate. Uh, uh, the battle master, so, I think, um, is the best one. one yeah. Yeah. I think so that was it. Work work on Although, I do like the improved your skirt. Yeah. And that's the point. Yeah. Yeah, actually, no, I think that's one with the maneuvers. Mm-hmm. Because you can see what the maneuvers are. So, uh-uh. You can constantly keep picking more, so, but here's what they are. Skirts. And you would learn three of them. Like, so you get tons like, of almost freaking have a things. Free floating. Uh, I think that's more yeah. appropriate for my character. Because, like, especially with this stuff. Yeah, this so is kind of like the sword strike, strike, the goading you know, strike, the lunging like, attack. Like, mm-hmm. at the bottom. Areas also pretty cool. Oh, and of course, that's so much. Oh, yeah. And my favorite one is going to be red with white polka dots. Oh, my gosh. I always joke back and forth. Did you ever had a rogue blue post maxed out? So this blue post maxed out. 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 So this blue because it was like yeah. a really good chance every time they came out, it was like a 20% chance we did a bat. The bat ball. What are the superiority deaths? Oh, that is. Muscles. 
That's just kind of common superiority. You have four superiority dice, which are D8s. A, a superiority dice expended when you use it. You regain all of your dice on the short or long rest. Blue and teal. And what you tell you what they are. <laughs> what it is. It is. So that looks like I have the segmented. Uh -huh. Yeah, it upgrades to D10s. And then I have Basically, you need to add that to your chest rolls. What? Why is it not? what I want. Oh, oh, like, yes. They have faceted hide. They should have faceted hide. I want to get some of those. Like, that's retarded. Kind of we're like, look, you get these cool dice, no, but we're not going to tell you what they do. It's a oh, secret. That's why I need this yes. big. It's in terrible oh, yeah. condition. Uh, I think we're wrapping up as we're leveling, and they're doing wig stuff. See, it's all they're getting wiggy with it. Jim got me this. He actually ended up getting me a quality plate that can tell this already. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thank you. It makes me feel better. Yeah, this is that's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, the wigs people purchase these days are like, oh, really guys? That is a one time use. Okay, uh, we need yeah, to start at the party level. You learn maneuvers that are fooled by exactly. the that dice called superiority dice. Oh, uh, so I'm guessing you use this your superiority dice and you can do the maneuvers? You can use one of your tech. Yep, this is just like the ones I worked with. But see, as you can see, it's really kind of in need of loving okay. here, and I don't I've know got, how to. I have the silicone wig stuff I'll work on. Sweet. I have one of those that's purple. Yay! They're fun. It needs help too. Okay, so like if you use this, and then add the superior dice oh, to the damage roll. So the superior yeah, dice must add to different things. That's why they don't tell you what it does. That's why. Because I'm like, I know it adds a D8 thing, but apparently it's to each different individual thing. Yeah, because I'm like, because like the other, the other, because you can do the spellcasting, this one, or the champion, which champs great great stuff. I'm sorry, I like the option of having yeah. these. Because that turns you into a warlord like a fourth edition. Mm -hmm. Where you now have options. Oh, it's it's careful. careful. Yeah, you can do the two things. You can turn them up, or you can always uh, add cantrips. Color. Second yeah. Those are cantrips. Chalk. Chalk. Sweetie, do you have your fire chamber? Yeah, I do. But can you know what? I think it would be a jewel. I think it would be a jewel. Did I really choose that? Or was that just something that you're... No, circle is not what you are as a druid. We have to get our characters leveled up. So like, for example, you're going to get more spells. No, no, circle of the moon is what kind of druid you are. So you'll be able to cast more. Because remember, you have to look up specialized... Your elfiness, and you have to look up your manginess. Well, you have that... Because I know for like my... Like for my cleric, I get channel divinity, which means I can now turn dead, I think. Oh... Then you're off him. So, yeah. Circle of the Moon is this kind of truth. Does that mean I can be a necromancer now? Creatures. Level 3. So, yeah. level 3. Level three. three. Is this like, yeah. is this a good thing? Time to go. Mm -hmm. Well, it's what kind of druid you are. No, it's different people. types. Oh, okay, I get it. I'm sorry. I'm tired of being so <laughs> light someday. So, at third level, <laughs> you can be brutal you're only getting any without me, but you're getting access to yeah, second class I'm, spells. I'm so, you can now cast it. Yeah, I can cast it. So, it's like. Uh, but I, yeah, I'm so my god here, is for chaos in the you storm. You can cast I'm all three for us. Yeah, so it's not only three, it's three to a four. Right here? Yeah, so you now cast four and I'm for chaotic spells. Good, so yeah, that's what I, I do. I'm I cast good. two second level spells. I do whatever I want. Second level? Yep, that's second level well, spells. Not yeah. really, but yeah. you're still essentially nice and stuff. And let's see. Yeah, so. What's your wisdom? That's fine. Uh, no. So Justin's going to be helping me with the patterns because she already had the, you know, uh, two. Oh, two? I'm going to be doing the, the colored one. Okay. Mine. And what I'll probably do is I'm going to also make so it. So you can know regular run two spells. Or two so regular either spell to this level and stuff or this level. level. Um, Any combination. And two then, spells from either of those levels. What was that? Okay. Um, and then. I can always just switch into the uh, names. I'm not going to be a catalyst. Yeah. yeah. But I'm. So you can switch to the more spells from either of these things. I'm probably going to hold on to this one and just go to the next powerful thing. And just do a whole white ensemble. Uh, piece. I told you what kind of that happened. It's, it's um, okay, but. Moonbeam 
smells oh, good. Oh, uh-huh. Spike I growth is going to be what I already got the dress. Oh, Katrina? Think about it. True. It is. Black and white. And it's awesome. Yeah. That's without a very cool. Yeah, I figure I'll do the white lady. The white lady. And the white lady has the white lady. Oh, of course. You know? I'm sure they're really good. So I'm trying to figure out what type of hat will do. That you can keep moving around as long as you concentrate. So you basically cheese things down with the fireball. Ever oh, druid I've known has loved that spell because you can basically the, the creature way. starts his turn, uh, takes the fireball, takes yeah. damage. That's a good Later one. on in your turn, as a free action, you move the, the fireball next to him, he takes damage again. It's, gonna be it's, a, it's his first one, so I'll yeah, because yeah. it's hot. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> so if we were so gonna do a second D&D game, what kind of D&D game would we do? Has he completely different than out in the wilderness? So I may not do the veil and just kind of like you, you you. white one. Yeah. Depending the veil that you get the double eye. Mm-hmm. 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 Because that's what you know where it's I know, yeah, because I put it where it's supposed to be. Does it make sense? It just makes it easier for me to find stuff. That, and I also have to get a white wig. I can change things as we level up easier. I have three. Why does that only need a white wig? I have to borrow, I think, for Colorado. What are we gonna do for Colorado? I'm just gonna be a ghost in there. We could be a spider. What would you need? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or he could be a dead kill. You know, as I was gonna say, you know, he could literally be like, you know, a uh, flower on all my gear. Or we have a noose hanging oh, down. Oh, that's kind of dark. That's awesome. You know, paint you kind of like a dick. We'll both be ghosts. Yeah, that would be cool. I was going to be the white lady. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, Ghost of Steve on the past. Yeah. She'll lend me a white wig, and if I paint my face white, and, uh, you know, I'm wearing all white. Oh, well. But I'm definitely going to change of clothes because I'm not sitting in the park in white. I'm not changing because I'm dressed. Forget it. So I'm not getting in and out. Wait a minute. I thought the tradition is we strip at the park. Yeah, I, I definitely will because all of my stuff will have to go into a. Does anybody have a pen? Yes. I do. Yes, right here. Which would you like? <laughs> I've got really good. Ooh, really we have cold. a lot of sexy. Ooh. This is <laughs> a sexy wall. <laughs> Easier yeah. to write with. That's exactly. My hand as much. Uh, Write up how much better yours is. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. My pants. I love you. <laughs> it rolls so smooth. Oh, it is thick. Nice. It's got <laughs> sexy dark ink. Now, uh, back in, in the day, I used to have a problem with stains. Where I would go in there and my pants. Oh, uh, first I was going to go with steak. I know, that's what I'm like, like, in I was like, what? Like, I, like, I mean, <laughs> I've Basically, like me with my Walmart, uh, Walgreens, good pins that Kelly always steals. Oh, we don't say Walgreens. And me, I have a thing for notebooks. I'm thinking I can find yeah, one of my good my pins and Kelly's I thing have right a book now. Notebooks. Is one of my good metal ones in here? But no, they're mine. Those are my pins. <laughs> oh! Oh! Look what I found right there! <laughs> <laughs> well, where's yeah. one of the really good ones, the me- all metal ones? Down at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> because once Kelly, those are the felt tip ones. They're even better. Mm-hmm. They're almost like good art inking pens. Like Andy a while back in, in the uh, store, mm-hmm. she shared the picture of the artwork pens. Yeah. When you have a stash of pins and you can't want to sing one out because they're artwork pins. All of us artists know the difference. Mm-hmm. So did you guys seriously want to start up a second D&D group? I wouldn't mind playing something other than a cleric. I wouldn't mind playing something hard. <laughs> so I like want to try a healing class? Or nobody heals. Uh, yeah. Well, oh, uh, make sure to grab... If we have... If everyone the table that more has a multi-class, what? This one's hurt. Did Judy have any meetings in the Oh, room? yeah. I yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
I mean, I can play. Show. I can play healing class if nobody else wants to. Well, Bard can use it. Bards have. Yeah, but minor not at the healing. beginning. Yeah, they do. Yeah, First level, you know, just take. You can get the healing. You just one. take like one on my when my Bard was level one. I just made. I gave her healing word and cure wounds oh, for her level one spells, and then all my. Uh, Here's what you do. You all four start playing the bar. Then you all at second level have to take a second class that has a magic user, so rogue, fighter, <laughs> wizard. I would that would be kind of interesting. <laughs> Cause we oh oh we could be we could be at a school of Minst- bars. Minstrel Woo! Monday! That would be awesome! We could call it Minstrel Monday. <laughs> That would be so rad. Monday, Monday. La 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 la. <laughs> He's like, damn it, why He's did like, I say that? Damn. Look at his face. He's so mad. He's like, damn. He's turning red. I'm like, oh my god, they jumped on that idea too fast. And don't forget to mark if you have inspiration, which you all do. So you'll start out with lots of inspiration. Um, I had an inspiration point written on my sheet. Oh, okay. So does that mean I have two, or that no, I only, you only have a two? That's why I gave one in line. Yeah. You only get one. You only get one. One inspiration. Yeah. yeah. So you, you learn two new spells, which you need from either of those levels. Oops. So I can pick two here? Oh, yeah, you can pick two level two. Now like remember, that. you're only you able to cast one of those spells twice, or one of each. Yeah, oh, see? I could totally play. Damn it. I can totally play a Bard Illusions. So it's supposed to be done I would like. Days? I wouldn't mind being a Bard yeah. Thief. A Bard Illusionist who multitasks in Rogue, Arcane Rogue. Because if you are, go Arcane Rogue, you can use your magic hand spell that she blocks. Okay, then you go. Oh, well then that could be her. And then, oh, I could be the Bard Cleric. Yeah, but sure. Cleric of Magic. There, there is a Cleric of Magic. That would be pretty cool. And suddenly I am picturing really dorky, like, on high school nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have a step five who's always trying to get at someone? No. Damn it. I was going to be happy too. I never mind that I'll be your half elf. No, we can have a little variety. variety. Oh. Um, I'm here to so what would be the point of the eventual? Oh, Thunderwave, by the way. Or I suppose it could be. I don't know. Conspiracy, conspiracy and intrigue. <laughs> conspiracy and intrigue. Someone kills your teacher and you have the school to yourself. <laughs> Filled with magical traps. That's too much like leading me to the adventure. True. Okay. Oh no. Uh, I don't know. Or a conspiracy to take over the kingdom. No, what it is is so we all get all the real magic users and no, no. the cards are left behind. We get a hall pass, so we go out on the town and trouble ensues. Um, How many spells do we get? Uh, four mage. Knight of the Silent Spell. Someone assassinates all the real magic users. Know. I don't know, that scares me. It scares me. Why? That sounds dangerous. And this is the level but, but three, danger. right? But danger. The dangers, my middle name. And can, what about cantrips? This is hard. Although, no, cause would it be weird. like, it would be kind of weird. We all oh, sit there like, things. like play our musical sure. instruments off of each other, trying to give each other bonuses, and it's just like a I I inspire you. Trip. You know what? I, I inspire, inspire you. you. <laughs> are you a sorcerer or what are you? I help. Wizard. Wizard. What are you? Wizard. Oh my god. Yeah. And we can have like compliment contests. <laughs> I don't know why that would be appropriate, but okay, level three. That would be totally you appropriate. You have um, you have three cantrips, uh, four first level spells, and two second level spells. Okay, so, so can get you be level 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 level. and you get one more first level? Because well, what do you mean by magic creature? Because yeah, you can be at second level. You only have three. Yeah, all, all the classes now can you be have bards. four first oh, level. Okay. So you I'm can have dwarf bards to be kind of like and that's your slots. Yeah. So you can cast the same spell more than once, but those yeah. are your slots. So you have four first level slots and two second level slots. Yeah, you can be an elf, a half elf, the rare travel bar. Mm-hmm. But also, who constantly uses prestidigitation to change his skin color. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. <laughs> 
Otherwise, people get mad. Yep. <laughs> what? Because Most people don't like more dark girls are notoriously evil. Second level. Uh, you know that picture of that dark colored elf mm -hmm. in my in my house uh, that she's holding the skull? The super sexy. Yeah. That's a drow. Yeah. And notoriously oh, and then evil. The other the other picture with the dude with the with the panther in the background, he's all Does sexy. He's all, yeah. That's also a drow. You know, I don't have a, a affectation or anything. I'm noticing that most things in your house start with the description. You know the sexy one? <laughs> well she lives in there, doesn't she? Yeah. <laughs> have you been in my craft room? No. It's a it's those are the adult only place only to go. pictures. It's a scary place to go. That's where that is. It's the adult room. Where the I don't go in there unless room. you tell me. Uh, there's like adult oriented pictures in there. And one No, there's a there's a fire demon in there that's in like hot pants with like crazy I don't know. And then there's a um Several, several years ago, when I was working for Aaron Brothers, we had a, what's it called? Let's see my bar duh. That Christmas thing that people do where they exchange gifts. Secret Santa, that's oh, all. Oh, I'll and, your white open. And this is my bar duh. Uh, my shirt that I had custom made. <gasps> my Secret oh. Santa was our framer who happened to be an artist, and he totally drew me like a pinup style character. <laughs> And uh, it was really cool, like with a now. removable bikini and everything. That's, cool. That's mm -hmm. framed in my room. So then I'll whip out the piece of paper with it. So besides bard, what class would each of you guys want? Um, um I want to be the arcane fighter, basically the eldritch knight. Use it. Cool thing with them is that once you have your magic sword attuned to you, you can say, "Take my sword." And five minutes later, go, sword. There's this whole. I want a pussy dress in that. In, in, basically, it's an elf knight. It, the joke with that one is that uh, you know the original eldritch knight was created because they went to a castle that couldn't bring their weapons, and they were betrayed by a king. So they all left their swords outside until they. I want. So you want to have a fighter? That. Okay. You have to be all bold and fighting. Okay. Just making sure. I'm getting more confident in this, so yes. let's check it. Who are you guys? The whole staring at me. Well, I she wanted our king trickster, so. No, no. Do whatever you want. Cause oh, cause just because I can do all kinds of things. And remember, there's, there's, there's vicious mockery is my favorite thing to do. There's always staying as a bard. You can just keep leveling your bardness. And there's wizard and all the different. I could make things. another cousin. <laughs> Twilight until they can have yet another cousin. Does it have to start with a T? It may. No, I know what this one will be. Uh oh. This one's name will be Millie. 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 Tilly's her nickname. So, so which would, would you want to stay a bard, multi class, and three? I'm the trickster. That way I'm both Twilight and Zelda. Different characters. Good guess. That's yeah. Nice. So, what about for you? Uh, <laughs> I gotta go through my book. <laughs> okay. Honestly. And, and what about you, Andy? I'm looking <laughs> through her book. Yay. I'll message you as soon as I figure it out, and I hear what everyone else is doing. I'll probably be the one that does pure bard. Ah, bardy bard. And I'll have criminal background. One time at bard camp. <laughs> <laughs> there was this one time in bard camp. And you all have to play with like little anime girls. Who wants to be the Eldritch? You did that a little too good, and I have no clue what that is. That's the one that loves you, and then if you try to get with anyone else, they kill you, and if uh, someone tries to get with you, they kill them. They basically are so obsessed that unless they can't have you, no one can. Oh, I like that. That's Yandere. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna be it? <laughs> Sorry. If you're going to Anime Girl, you have to have one of them. I'm going Chibi. 
You go bard, nice. necromancer, so people can dance at the party. <laughs> Oh man, a, a, a necromatic a necromatic bard would be like what into death metal? Draw, Sorry, you you'd be the goth. Uh, As I thought you wanted to be the elder Knight one. <laughs> I have too many interests. <laughs> I'm the one that multi classes five different classes. <laughs> So y'all are level five, and I'm five level ones. <laughs> at one point, I had a ranger, cleric, psionicist, so I feel you. Those psionics. Shut up, I like them. Oh, I had you played a... into psionics work. I totally rocked them in D&D. It was fine. I had I ranger hated them. Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome because my, my one of my big nemesis were the, um, my the elephant. Yeah. Oh! Is it only a girl's game? That's not how no. You have big no. No one wants to start the next game. Oh, okay. And he'll be if the one guy it... in a manga with a room oh. full of girls. Oh. <laughs> if we no, we're not touching him. That would be awful. <laughs> if we make it kid friendly, Damien would love to make a character, but I would have to ask him if he'd want to be a part. Because he really likes Well, he wizards. doesn't have to be a bard. He could be a wizard. But that's the whole premise of the game. Of, True, of but the game. still. Is one but, day a bard camp? Yeah. <laughs> we'll I mean, if you would be okay with it. But he is going to be 11. So. Bards don't have to sing. Bards can be storytellers. That's true. Well, he would oh, want to be like I'm a... to watch Will all night. Oh, no. What? What? Will is a new, uh, it's about William Shakespeare, really? but it's like a oh. punk rock version of it, and it's so... Base it around that. It's, oh. it's, it's, and I haven't decided whether I hate it or whether I, I like it. I can't decide. It's just like, I yeah, I maybe can't. that was the point, if that many people couldn't decide. They had to keep watching yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> it keeps pulling you back <laughs> into it. <laughs> And I like how they switch up some of the things and the fact that it's the girls that are usually the ones that, you know, he can't think of anything, but then the latest, well, da 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 da. I'm like, oh, of course! They're his muses. You know. I mean, like the premise is pretty cool, and to be fair, it was pretty fun. <laughs> Back in the day. Back in the day. <laughs> so, so I'm going to take uh, Repost. Precision attack and goading attack. Ooh. Bring it, Scrappy. Yep. I think goading is appropriate, and precision for those ones that I'm having a hard time getting is always good. <laughs> uh, of the attack bonus. Especially since she can take a D8 and add that to a D10. Mm -hmm. Are we still doing it on Monday nights? Yeah, once a month on Monday nights we could do... As you're shooting him the message saying, you will stay. You will say yes. No. <laughs> yes. Maybe we can always give it a go, see how it works. And mm -hmm. how but we will we need... And then we can all die if we need to just to start with something new and that all of your Well, maybe no, but we'd like to be the uh, bard cleric. <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, yeah. how many people is recommended to play? Oh, Normally you want to stick around five, any more than six, <laughs> it's really slow. Okay. I don't know because all of a sudden it's like 30 minutes between turns. <laughs> Trust me, in our uh, Princess of the Apocalypse so game, we got up to seven people and that she probably wouldn't be able to. Okay. I'm just wondering. Not, and I don't mean that no. in a negative way. She's yeah. just really busy. So. Yeah. 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 Life's been really And I can do, her. like, if we're pulling in this game, I can probably do each game, like, once a month. Maybe pull in it twice, but okay. while we have all these events coming up over the event yeah, season, and that's the thing. I'm kind of like... Our season is going to be really big. This is going to be... Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, is this is event season for us, so I'm like, okay, yeah, I can yes, do each game once. Month. Because yeah. I have, like, so, a month. Maybe, you know I, what we could do is some Monday game. night, if we want to, we could do the kitty cat game. Six That'd be cats. fun. Well, I will be having to run Meet Year Zero eventually. At, at the least one we tried to play? Yes. Well, so Except we'll be basically. Yeah, you guys kicked ass in that. We did like two, two uh -huh. sessions, right? Yeah. yeah. 
And you survived fun. them both from the apocalyptic wastelands. Yeah. You even saved your girlfriend. I had a girlfriend? Remember the girl you went to go rescue?